Hello. Hello, welcome back. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to play a bit with these circles. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have some ideas. <laughs> mm -hmm. One idea I was thinking of, what if we use noise for the sizes uh, instead of randomness? And then we not, don't necessarily sort. I wanted to see how that would look like. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we could use mm, random simplex, for example, mm -hmm. of i is the index, and here we can just put any other number. Uh, this way, uh, mm -hmm. one size is going to be more or less similar to the previous and the next. Mm -hmm. So there's some coherence there. I don't know if the zero one is a good number. We we're going to find out. Oh, any time, of course. <laughs> Random simplex is a number between minus one and one, mm -hmm. which is not so ideal. <laughs> uh, what kind of sizes were we using before? Uh, I don't know. We need to say five set... and ten, but we first need to scale oh. it, right? Yeah. So, yeah. This way, we are centering around size twenty, mm -hmm. and we move ten up and down. Mm -hmm. So basically, we have sizes between my uh, ten and 10 thirty, and more or less. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I like it more extreme, maybe. Mm -hmm. So maybe here. Five and uh, ah, 50, ah, 50 yeah. and 70 or something. Huh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> and now, what if I. Now it gives a 3D. Yeah. Uh, I could reduce this a bit mm -hmm. so it doesn't evolve so quickly. So. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is what I had in mind. Oh, mm -hmm. I like it. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. And yeah. now, one thing I was mentioning to you a second ago, we could try this contour adjuster, mm -hmm. which allows to deform, in many ways, the contours. You, mm. you can uh, manipulate the vertices or the segments you can displace them, rotate them, scale mm. them. But then, but then maybe we should manipulate them, you know, in a certain sense, also as a function of... Right. So that, the, you know... Yeah, so they are... The it's not random, yes, yeah. but, but it depends on the mm -hmm. state. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, so what we could do... Mathematicians could would do say that. it's a Markovian process, <laughs> but whatever. What we could do for that is extract this value here. So I'm just going to call it mm -hmm. T. Mm -hmm. And I will use the same T uh, for As a deformation. Yeah, uh, yeah. For deforming. Yeah. So, and also we will use whatever, simplex or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So then, yeah, <laughs> I know we didn't explain, but your concern is that if we deform them completely in different ways one mm -hmm. circle and the next then this you will break the fluidity yeah, yeah. of the of the yeah. of the final thing mm -hmm. which is the nice thing here that it, it seems like a tube mm -hmm. or as an intestine <laughs> depend, depending <laughs> on your your preference but yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, nice okay let's see what yeah so how do you use this adjuster mm -hmm. um, you use adjust contour Mm -hmm. And then here, in, as an argument, you have a contour. Mm -hmm. So in this case, a circle converted to a contour. Mm -hmm. And then you do something to the mm -hmm. vertices. What type, of, what type does it return a just contour? A contour. Also. A contour. Ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we can apply it directly inside mm -hmm. the... the... Yeah. Okay, very cool. So then we could do the same thing here. Adjust contour. Mm -hmm. And the argument is this whole thing. And yeah, I'm going to, ah, actually, I think uh, the computer is going a bit slow. I think it's because the program is making, it's a bit heavy to draw the thing on real time. Mm -hmm. Good. So now here we could do something. Mm -hmm. We could start just by doing the same exact thing. Uh, yeah. Maybe not so extreme, but but with 
rotating the vertices with circles what yeah ah right because these yeah. are circles here yeah right, right or right, used to right, be right, at right. least <laughs> ah right because you rotate the circle the the vectors yeah to the, which, the yeah. circle by default has four vertices mm -hmm. yeah and it's when you bezier, it's four bezier, no? yeah, Probably. yeah yeah so uh what if i do 25 degrees how does this look like Huh. Mm -hmm. Like squares. Yeah. Square okay. around it. Yeah. Yeah. So now we can use T to uh -huh. decide that the rotation angle can change yeah. according to this simplex. Mm -hmm. Right? So. Um, right. So we could do also indexed here. Well, uh, we don't need an index. We can use T. We T. Uh, what well, I was thinking of using T and a ah, index. Ah, both. Ah, so okay. we don't rotate the same amount the four vertices of their circles yeah but okay yeah yeah i get amounts. it i get it yeah, yeah. Uh, okay cool i thought there was here a way to for each index <laughs> yeah i know i, I was be <laughs> being lazy because before it was doing this for me <laughs> and now it doesn't want to uh i'll call I it and I -T. V -I no. and IT. and it yeah. or what is this this is just to not confuse with this yeah do, to not shadow yeah. these are points no mm -hmm. vector two so I'm going to call this uh, P for point. Mm -hmm. And this, ah, well, this is the vertex. Mm -hmm. So we have a vertex index and the vertex. Mm -hmm. Nice. So now we want to generate a number, a unique number here. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm going to do angle is random simplex also. Mm -hmm. We're going to use, maybe I'll use, VI. I'll use VI. I'll use VI. Times zero point, I don't know, thirty-three and t and t, and so this is between minus one and one again, maybe yeah. time three hundred sixty. Yeah. Well, ah, well, ah, yeah, three hundred sixty okay. is a lot. Maybe it's dangerous. Yeah, maybe it's dangerous. <laughs> but yeah. maybe we just do deform yeah. it a bit. Okay. Uh, so then we here we use the angle, and let's see what happens. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can see that it's the square that becomes a circle that you know gets deformed. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So should we? But one thing that yeah. I would do. Um, let me think about it. I would shuffle the vertices first. Uh huh. Because in this way, I think for each circle, the vertices are they have the same index. So right. each time for all the vertices, you will have that the zero, the first, they are in the same order, right? Uh -huh. Well, if you shuffle them, you're giving a bit more of a variety to them. You see what I'm, what I'm saying? Uh... So if you have a circle, the V0 will always be here. Yeah. One will always be here. Two will always be here. And you know that the random sim simplex of this one will mm -hmm. always be only t and mm -hmm. the other one it will be 0 33 and the other one well if you shuffle them before you mean shuffle the vertices here, the vertices the... Uh, i wonder what will happen but you do you want them to be clockwise to be a closed shape otherwise you could jump but this is just a def i know i know you're right you're uh -huh. right because this adds the vertices ah yeah yeah yeah, yeah. sure mm -hmm. sure okay i get it yeah, yeah. But uh, if for more variety, we could also displace the vertices, mm -hmm. not just rotate them. Because yep. now, even if they are rotated... Ooh, we can displace them uh, radially. Yeah. Uh, I have an example in this post. Pose, uh, here, you can move yeah, it with while normal. it's normal. Yeah. So, let's see. Yeah, it's cool. He knows it's normal because of the base. Yeah. Move yeah. That, uh, how did I use that? V. Ah, also V normal. Move by it's normal mm -hmm. by what? A certain amount. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what's the, the size. What is, what is the true behind? Update tangents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm, so what number should we use here? A uh, uh, random? A simplex. Again. Also a simplex. Yeah. Uh, and it should be not that Big offset, yeah. and I we can try here true and yeah. false. I don't know what will be the effect. Mm -hmm. You can revert this uh, T and VI probably. 
These two? Yeah. Uh -huh. Why not? Like, I mean, I mean, in the, in the, ah. you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like in the yeah. simplex yeah. here. Uh, T and VI. Yeah, and then maybe times 20 or something like that, or times 10, mm -hmm. uh, the displacement. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so yeah. now we have an offset, which is number yeah. between minus one and one. Yeah. So we want, I don't know, some variety here. Okay. Uh, maybe, so if we do this, it's, it's between zero and 40. 40. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, let's see what does what does this do? But so it means that it will yeah okay, okay. So it will always push outside, never inside. Ah right. So, so we we don't need we don't need that. What if we can push inside? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, there are subtle changes, but mm -hmm. yeah. And and what what's the difference between update tangents? Ooh. I was thinking, what what if we do? Yeah, okay. Like I'll tell you. Well, <laughs> I don't remember what yeah, this does. What, what I was thinking. Ah, this, ah, okay. This makes it less smooth. Yeah. So how about? Uh, I want. I'm gonna keep it smooth. Um, no, I was thinking like you know because the vertices now they are always gonna be four because the the circle mm -hmm, is a four. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if we sample endpoints from the circle and create an obby curve then we have more points that yeah. we can deform i don't th i thought you can even split it without making a hobby curve i thought is there a way to say like get a resampled uh, okay That's i wonder cool. like how did i do this so here? yeah Oh, sorry <laughs> because it's, i mean the point is that the circle will have this sample like it is Ah, ah but okay, these are just points. Mm -hmm. uh, or? What does sample equidistant do? M means uh, uh, um, samples uh, equidistant but points. But what do you get, points? Say again? You get points? No, you get a contour. So we can use sample equidistant ah, okay. on the circle, no? Okay. Uh, which, let me see, where are we? This is our mm -hmm. circle. So simple equidistance uh, instead of contour, essentially. So this is our shape, or I don't know how to call it anymore, uh, core shape. Mm -hmm. Main shape. Oh, main shape. Main shape is going to be this thing. Mm -hmm. Main shape. So we could do... Samp simple equidistance. Yeah, no, we can do uh, it. Sample even here. Ah, yeah. 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 And, I don't know, 10. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that... In theory... Now we have more. Yeah. Def ah, but it becomes straight segments, or no? Yeah, but then you can apply OB curve probably uh -huh, uh -huh. to that. Yes. Uh, to what is it? Yeah. To heavy or yeah. hobby hobby yeah. curve. To make it smooth. <laughs> uh -huh. More irregular. Increase increase the number of points like. I don't know, 50 or 100 in, which in the same dimension? Equidistant? Uh huh. Here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's going to be very wobbly. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool also. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can see the segments more, you, I mean, mm -hmm. of course. And also, we on the other... We can also try increase on the other uh, length wise. Mm. Well, but it's becoming kind of heavy to yeah, to yeah. render this. But because let me see how where how do we choose how many do we get? Ah, by ah, uh, but what? Yeah, how where is the number? look? But maybe we want to do a big curve outside of the adjust contour, no? The uh -huh. adjust contour returns a contour. Ah, ah yeah, just to make it. One time? Yeah. No, 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 no. I would say adjust, uh, adjust contour, no? Return uh, a contour. Yes. This is this correct? Yeah. So it means that I can do obby curve outside. Uh -huh, of, uh -huh. Right? Yeah. So uh, here. Here, exactly. And how, let's see, would that be very different? Yeah. 
<laughs> because the smoothening is happening after. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so this uh, point, yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I was wondering how, if I want more points lengthwise. Uh, more points lengthwise. Yeah, more steps. More steps, then you have to reduce. Is it here? Yeah. Uh, right. So if we do five, it will be double. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and double work for the CPU. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, maybe we're not going to plot this now because yeah, it's going to be heavy. Yeah, because it's going to take ages. But this is pretty cool, though. Yeah, it's very organic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll run it again one more more time to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it's not so heavy to maybe, no, I plot. Don't, maybe this is not so heavy, no. Yeah. Yeah. And all these ex all these things we have every time we run the program we are creating a new SVG. So exactly. Now, now we have everything here we mm -hmm. could print at any time. All right. Uh, Should we time some yeah, printing? Maybe I wonder I lost track of time i don't know how long <laughs> we've been yeah i think we want to do, do some printing okay but i mean this is to show i mean let's do a recap of uh what is this this is like i mean we have just created a fun playground where now you can work with a bit of parameters like i mean um and uh essentially all of these are ready svgs mm -hmm. no loss no in pixels or whatever mm -hmm. and then it's very very easy to to I would say to do this automatically. Yeah. 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 That's very fun. Let's plot this last image. Let's see how yes. it looks like. Let's plot it. <laughs> 